I'm Moella and in this tutorial I want to speak about connecting basic for Android to Nox player. Actually there are two ways to test your application. The first option is to test your application on your real device. Some people they prefer this method because that is faster but some people they don't like it because they don't like connecting their cell phone to the laptop each time that they need to test their application. The other option is to use one emulator on your own laptop. There are many emulators you can use. In this tutorial, I want to speak about Nox Player. You can download that and install that from its website. If you don't like the way that it looks like, click here and choose another theme. The other good point about Nox Player is that it gives you variety of screen size. It's very good. For example, I can test my application on a tablet. To see that, click on this button. Now click on Advanced Settings. Here, you can switch between phone and tablet and any custom settings that you like. And here, you can choose one size. Just do not forget that each time that you change these settings, you need to restart your Nox player. Now we want to speak about connecting Nox player to your basic for Android, because that's not connected by default. Open your basic for Android, as I see this word disconnected here, it means that Basic for Android is not connected to any device, whether a real device or emulator. Now I want to connect it. I open Windows Explorer and I go to the path where my SDK is installed. I go to Platform Tools. I need this path. I click on that and then I copy that. There is a file here, its name is ADB, but I cannot click on that and activate that. I need to run it through command line. To go to command line, I press Windows R and I type CMD and then I press enter. I need to change the path to that path that I just copied. If you are familiar with this environment, you know that you need to type CD and that path. So I type CD and then I need to paste that path. I cannot press Ctrl V to paste that. I need to click here. And from edit menu, I click on paste. Okay, now the path is entered. I need to press enter. As you see it here, my current path is changed. Now type ADB connect. Then you need the IP address of that application that you want to connect it to basic for Android. That is different for each emulator. This is the IP address of Nox player. 127.0.0.0. Colin 62001 and then press enter. As you see it here, it's connected. Now let's go to basic for Android. To check whether our job was successful or not, I need to press connect button on logs tab. If you don't have logs tab, activate that from Windows menu. As you see here, our basic for Android is connected to that IP. And now I can test my application on Nox Player. Maybe that was a long procedure. We can make it shorter and simple. We create a file and each time we click on that, it does everything that we did so far. Open Windows Explorer again. You can go to any location that you like. I prefer to create this file here. So I right click and from new click on text document. 
you can type whatever name that you like. And then you need to change the extension of the file to bat. If you don't see the extension of your file, you need to Google this. How to show the extension of the file. It's an easy task to do and that is a little different in each version of Windows. It asks you whether you are sure about changing the extension of the file, so click on yes. Now we need to edit the text of this file. So right click on that and click on edit. Now type CD and then paste that path. On next line, type ADB connect, same IP address, 127.0.0.1 colon 26001. Click on close and save the file. Now it's ready. Every time you click on this file, your Nux player can be connected to your basic Fanroid. That's it. Let's check it again. Okay, thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. But please do not forget to subscribe in my channel and wait for my other tutorials. If you have any question or any suggestion to make one tutorial, just let me know through comments. Goodbye.